These are the new mechanics, gameplay systems, and new features you can find inside of Grand Theft Auto 6. At 500 subscribers, I will leak the campaign missions. New mechanics. Crouch in stealth by crouching like it is in RDR2. Prone. Loot bags. Jason and Lucia both have duffel bags. These can be seen in a couple of videos. Also, when Jason is opening a shipping container and the options for stash gold and stash cash stack are available, Jason puts the gold and cash into his duffel bag. Under fire. Covering your face with weapons or bats. Also works while crouching. Down self-suicide and down self-revive. Option to revive yourself after a heavy hit to health. Possibly similar to Red Dead 2 Horse Revival. Ability to switch shoulders while aiming. Grappling during fist fights. Buddy comms. Buddy ping. Cover mode. Shooting from car window. Eagle eye system. Like in Red Dead 2, Jason's ability is used to highlight items of interest such as jewelry, safes, and security cameras. Switch holding hand. Weight and muscular system. Lucia looks thinner around the waist compared to other clips. In one mission, where Jason is at the motel pool with Wyman and that other character, he seems very muscular and more fit than he does in the mission of him and Lucia walking out of the motel and the one with them in the nightclub. Jason has a skinnier body tone and his muscles don't show as much as they do compared to other scenes. There is also a mention of an event called multi-gym. New interactions with objects slash people. You can now pick up or carry items and bodies. In one leak, you can see an online avatar carrying the body of another player. You will also be able to rob, threaten, and talk with NPCs during robberies. New gameplay systems. Money laundering there is an icon present in the Hank's Waffles video that is tracked to the car wash property. The icon is a washing machine with a dollar sign in the center. The universal symbol for money laundering. This is suggestive that properties can be purchased with the intent of laundering money. Fences are in the game. Car fence and art fence are both mentioned in the events list, though it is unclear if they will be called fences in the game. Purchasable businesses, likely linked with above laundering, robberies, vehicle discoveries, or compendium. Jason rides a Meibatsu Sanchez which in the bottom right corner says that the player has found a new livery for it. Hacking Lucia carries tracker jammer, immobilizer bypass, USB drive, auto dialer, pragmatic cool slash chaotic and romantic cool slash chaotic are mentioned in the events list. Radio song or riding pillion pragmatic cool or chaotic and romantic cool or chaotic. The pillion is a term for the rear passenger seat for women. Command your partner during a robbery. In the Hank's Waffles robbery, you can see a tip which tells you to check in with Jason or to hold for more options. You can see a prompt to tell Jason to surrender and also to tell him to follow you. Witness system and police recognition. In the Hank's Waffle Robbery video, you can see under the Wanted Level stars written, Full Description, which implies that the witnesses have a full description on you. Once Lucia enters the police vehicle, you can see written, No Vehicle Description, which quickly changes to, Full Vehicle Description, which suggests that the police have a full description over your vehicle. Also, the text prompt on the left up side says, any vehicle you are seen entering will be known by the law. Jason, during the Hank's Waffle robbery, is seen trying to prevent the customers that have a yellow icon above their head from either calling the cops or running away. You can also see a female NPC inside with a yellow icon above her head, and right after Lucia leaves the diner, her icon begins to flicker, and after Lucia gets close to the police car surrounded by cops, 
The icon turns red, then she leaves the diner and looks at Lucia before running away. Sharing items Jason and Lucia can share items between them. For example, when Jason is stealing items from the containers, he keeps certain items while sharing others. Shared items seem to be in general weapons that they can't equip or weapons that they already have. Food and ammo that is not for their weapons or are from weapons owned by both. The tools, for example the immobilizer bypass and the auto dialer for Lucia and other items are kept by them. Unlocking doors or gates. In one of the videos with Jason in the Sanfor Sandhood, where he sneaks in front of the red truck, you can see a door from an import garage building in which in its debug text you can see written, door panel locked, same as the garage door. Also, you can see a gate where it's written, door unlocked. New features. Ability to play without the minimap. On-screen waypoints and map icons mentioned under new gameplay systems implies that it is possible. When Jason gets on the bike, the minimap appears on the screen. New police system, time until cops dispatch when committing a crime. Also, in the Hank's Waffles robbery, once the police arrive at the location they wait for the player to come out, instead of rushing in. See, CTV system. CCTV Detection Meter Ability to Restrain NP See Lucia restrains an NPC in the Hank's Waffles robbery with what seems to be zip ties. Loot Vehicles In the Hank's Waffles robbery, for about a second you can see on the downright side of the screen a button prompt for Examine Stranger SUV Limited Weapon Wheel with the Limited Weapon Assault Judging by the position of the weapons on the weapon wheel, you may carry only one assault weapon on your back and one handgun or possibly a semi-automated gun and one or two smaller melee weapon like a knife, one or two tools slash item like a flashlight, and another slot for holstering your weapon and remaining unarmed. In terms of the weapon wheel, there have been a few variations we have seen but generally all look the same. Here is the 2021 wheel. You'll notice it has limited weapon slots, but also gear and equipment. The weapon wheel in 2022 was a bit more refined. You can hold different weapons in each hand, and there's an additional quick item inventory at the bottom left. This inventory can be used for consuming items such as trauma kits, pills, cigarettes, and potentially food. Then the next wheel in 2022 got more defined changing around the left side wheel. It seems you cannot hold different weapons in each hand anymore, and the quick inventory has been moved to the center left. The amount of weapons you can hold is still limited. When Jason gets shot, a prompt shows up that says you are injured. Your health will regenerate slowly. Open your weapon wheel and use a recovery item to replenish your health faster. 